Shalom. First off, when we start up by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekha all praises to what the world calls God, whose true name in the Hebrews, Yahweh by Hashem, in the name, Yahweh Shai being the name, but the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone and peace and mercy to the old for like preaching his word and truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Tazaba in the great millstone, Arizona camp, Lord well, with another video to edify. And uh, I was watching uh, the elder. Uh, um, I'm on Gabar in New York. He made a video. He made a video of the uh, WF said what? Right? And uh, I had to, before I even really got into that video, I had to make a, a follow up based on the article. Right? So the WF says CBDCs must be implanted under the skin if you want to be part, to participate in society. Right? This is this is just a step closer and a sign that we're we're coming to that days, right? I was watching a Glenn Beck also today, and uh, oh, I'll, I'll get this real quick. Circumstance. So there could right, be so some positives there. that come out of this. Right. Is going to happen that much of a technological revolution now? And we were living in cities with refrigerators all. All uh spooky because so people what he says this this he understands that the times are racing, that the times are speeding up, right? But he doesn't really apply the scriptures and proxy to it, but we do, right? Spooky to see the things that I thought would happen back in the nineteen nineties, and they're all happening right now, and it's spooky because <laughs> unless we wake up to them. Uh, you won't be able to stop it. Um, you know, I've been saying for years, for years, all of the changes made from when we had fire to the moment we had electricity and we were living in cities with refrigerators, all of that will happen in a 10-year period. Well, I was wrong. The latest is... Uh, from 1760, the first industrial revolution, this is according to the World Economic Forum, the first world economic, or the first uh, uh, transformation, the revolution, started in 1760. Then we went through the second one and the third one, and we're now at the fourth. So everything that happened between 1760 and 2020 is going to happen. That much of a technological revolution is going to happen between 2020 and 2035. See? And what he doesn't know is it's going to speed up even more than that. Because the Lord said, what? So, uh, uh, no flesh will be saved. I'll let the Lord shorten the times. Right? So things are going to speed up. Things are going to speed up, man. They're going to come out with this. There's more talk about this. Why? Because prophecies are coming to pass and the Lord's really getting ready to seal the shit up. Right? If we tie to this place, what do you think the Lord is? Right? So, you know, this is prophecy time. This is prophecy time. And then, right, you had uh, Nate. You had Nate give his breakdown on this. Give me Revelation 13. Here's a great controversy. Revelation 13, verse 16. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Y'all see that? Now you want, I, I've been telling y'all it's talking about sin for a long time, whether political or religious. Now, we just read what the, we just read what it is. Go back to Revelation 17 and read together. What's in the hand of America? What you want? Forehead, read. And, the, and the woman was and, and, and Nate is so deceptive that you hear this dude and he sensationalizes the mark which is the implantable chip and just ties it in with sin it's a sin if you get it yeah but he plays on people's simplicity and acts like what we say is off but more and more information is coming out to uphold the breakdown that we've learned from our elders and apostles. ...in purple and scarlet color, and kept with gold, and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, in her hand, her hand full of abominations, a microchip, 
Filthiness of abominations. Full of abominations. And filthiness. And filthiness. Of her fornication. So that's in her head. Mm. Now let's see what's in her forehead. And upon her forehead. Okay, her forehead, her mind. Was her name written? What is it? Mystery. Babylon. See? A, a completely off breakdown. Now we're seeing now with the more information that's coming out. That there's other things prepared on the table that show you that these CBDCs are really going to be tied to that chip. Right? Now, I'm going to read a little bit of this. It says, according to Professor Richard Warner, in a very near uh, future, citizens will need to use the latest technology, such as a CBDC chip implant, in order to access their bank accounts. It says Professor Richard Warner. Richard A. Warner is a economist and professor of banking and finance. He is known as the uh, proponent of a new post-crisis monetary policy he called quantitative easing, which he proposed in Japan in 1995 as ex as chief economist of a British investment investment bank. So this dude was plugged in. This dude was plugged in. Now I'm gonna jump down in this article. Because it says, right, where is it at? It's on one of these. Get the arrows. So I'll start about. I'll start up here and I'll jump down. It says, so it says, um, where is it at? Right here. It says a conditional currency, a conditional currency based on actual getting, based on you actually getting that permit. Now, if you have happened to be some kind of critic of government policy or critic of central bank or of central banks, this could be difficult. Or if you dare to step out of the, out of the 15 minute city zone, you know, maybe you'll find out, find that, oh, my CBDC is not working. Of course, these are, of course, these are the things we've, we've seen already in China. There's plenty of videos where somebody tries to use their, use it to buy a ticket and it doesn't work because his social credit score is low, right? Now, if you jump down in this article, it tells you that they're going to use this as a plan. It says, so this current inflation is inter in, in, entirely uh, intentional, created by the central banks, by the central central planners. So how are we going to punish them for this? Oh, let it, let's give them more power. Let's give them more unprecedented power over everything, over life on, on Earth through central bank digital currencies. The true reason that uh, I think they... I think why they wanted this inflation because that it is to cover up essentially the disintegration, disintegration of petrodollar and move to a new system, which they want to want to be uh, CBDC based, right? Because they're getting ready to implant this, and this is going to be the new technology, right? The new way of buying and selling, and it's going to be entirely oppressive, right? Now, I say it all this to to bring out the point that Nathaniel of IUIC always sp spoke against the chip. Right? ISUBK spoke against the chip. Right? IGJC, I don't know what, what the hell they broke down or what, whatever they said, but there's men that consistently speak against the prophecy of the chip being the mark of the beast. Well, if there's a system coming, where you have to receive something in your hand, physical, to be able to buy and sell. And they're talking more about this, and it's coming down the pike. You need to know who your prophets are, right? This is uh, Ezekiel 33 and 33. It says, and when it's coming to pass, Lord will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. And what's coming to pass? The prophecies. So when you see all this stuff starting to come to pass, you see more and more sp let's talk about this. Start coming to pass the CBDCs riling up, right? Who was talking about these things first? Who was going deep, right? The elder Ricard Quam in uh in uh, in in, in uh, England or the UK or whatever, he was uh 
him and uh, the elder uh, Ariella would always do algorithms going into these things. All right, so who was talking about these? The Lord said himself, believe me. All right, this is John 14 and 11. It says, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. So for the very work's sake, we're supposed to believe the, 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 the son, right? Well, what do you think you're supposed to believe in his men? You're supposed to believe him for the very work's sake because there's a track record within Great Millstone of breaking down these prophecies and things actually coming to pass that, that were spoken about from the elders and apostles, right? That were prophesied from the elders and apostles that are happening now. Everything that the elders and apostles were talking about have started happening already, man. Right? So you need to know who your prophets are. The scriptures tell you you're going to have to discern. Let me get that. Yep, here it is. Malachi 3 and 18, it says, it says, Then shall, shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the Most High and him that serveth them not. And how will you do that? You can, Hey, listen to the man's words. Is what that man is saying coming to pass? Right? The scriptures tell you, the prophet that prophesied peace when it come to pass. Then shall you know he's a prophet. Well, IUIC was talking forever about building your own here in a Babylon the Great, building your own in Babylon the Great, man. Right here it is in this video, right here. This dollar system, and as soon as America got the world accept the dollar system, they didn't even try to hold up to the, their point of having the, the amount of gold. So America can't be trusted anyway. We already know they're, they're deceitful when it comes to power and control, and that's what we're witnessing right now. How they're doing to the American people, and they're definitely going to target the Israelites. That's right. Uh -oh. Hold on, really quick, on give me on the Second Corinthians on the six and seventeen. All right, because we got to come out of this um, on the system. All right, we got to start to build our own. All right, gather together. All right. There's no building your own here. The scriptures tell you neither, neither have children here. It says, uh, Let me get this in this place. This is a uh, where is it at? Yeah, here it is. Jeremiah 16. It says, The word of Yahweh came also unto me, saying, Thou shalt not ha take a wife, neither shalt thou have sons or daughters in this place. For thus say Yahweh concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that be born in this place, and concerning their mothers that bear them, and concerning the fathers that beget them in this land, they shall die a grievous death. So why are you trying to sit here? And talk about building, and they're coming up with a system to weed your asses out. It says, They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine, and their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and the beasts of the earth. Right? And we're in another place right now, just like we were back in those days, where we shouldn't be in a mindset of building. The Lord getting ready to come and throw this thing down. Right? But you need to know who your prophets are in this time. Right? Lord willing, it was at a final. I said, call the law. Yahweh by Shema Arashai. By Shema Karkarash. The bondage to the elders and apostles. Shalom.